Hi, my name is Mubin Raza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my uh, channel is about embedded engineering and programming. So this is my first video. So today I am going to uh, share a very exciting uh, tutorial with you related to the IoT uh, domain. And uh, I will be sending the data of ESP32 board uh, to a Python application using the MQ2T protocol. So first thing is, uh, uh, I will share uh, how mq protocol works and what it is and after that uh, uh, I will uh, we will make a setup of ESP32 board and program it and after that uh, I will show you the my Python application uh, which will be receiving the data of ESP32 uh, using mq protocol so so stay tuned and let's start now let's discuss uh, what is mq protocol MQ2T protocol, protocol basically a protocol basically a lightweight messaging protocol that is designed for efficient and reliable communication between devices within limited bandwidth and resources. MQ2T operates uh, on top of TCP/IP protocol and uh, follows a publish subscribe messaging pattern. Let me show you a brief animation about MQ2T protocol working. In MQ2T protocol, we have our mq broker and multiple clients and if client one wants to send data to the client 2 it will first publish the topic and send the data to mq broker client 2 will subscribe the topic to receive the data from client 1 now if client 2 wants to send the data to client 1 it will publish the to topic and send the data to client 1 client 1 will subscribe the topic and will receive the data this was all about MQTT protocol. Very easy, right? Now to set up uh, that, uh, and to test it, we, we need an application which will help us to uh, debug the scenarios uh, for the MQTT uh, to implementing the MQTT protocol using ESP32. So how to do that? Uh, it, it is very simple. Just go into your Windows App Store and download this MQ MQTT box. So after downloading. Uh, I, I, I have already downloaded this one so after downloading uh, this will look like this uh, sh uh, simple application and if you see I have created four different mq MQ2T client for my testing you can click create your own uh, just click here and set all the parameters here so you can give the client name you can select the protocol type you can uh, set the quality of service you are uh, you want to get and just uh, save it so after saving uh, actually i haven't gave the cl client name so it's giving me error so if i say mqtt so print and then press save so it will automatically saved on uh, this broker url so currently this broker url is not working that's why it's giving me a connection error and I have tested this one it is working fine so you can see it's it, it turned green and it's showing the connected status if you click on this one uh, here you can uh, add your publishers and subscribers so I, I will show you its demo how uh, how this works so this was all about uh, setting up the MQTT broker using MQTT box Okay, now let's review the code for ESP32 board uh, in Arduino IDE. This is my script uh, for uh, my ESP32 board. I'm using uh, PubSub client library, client library to implement the MQTT protocol. Also using Arduino JSON.h library to format the data in, into the JSON format. First, I have uh, set the credentials for my mq broker here and for my uh, Wi-Fi uh, here and I'm using mq dashboardcom as my broker. After that, there are three major functions I would like to share with you. One is how I am creating the data uh, on my ESP32 board and formatting into the uh, JSON format and sending it to the to this topic via publisher so uh, and other thing is uh, I have uh, a client dot subscribe topic function call which is receiving the data on this topic 
and uh, how it is receiving uh, the main thing is this callback function whenever this function is called uh, as an event so uh, the message will coming from the client will appear in the terminal here i am setting up callback event to get that data uh, from the broker uh, so this is all about my uh, esp32 code and let me show you my inter i already have flashed the code into my esp32 board and if i show you my terminal so uh, already open so if you see it is always sending data to uh, to this topic home and every 30 sec second it will send data uh, for temperature and humidity uh, over this topic so and uh, how i can see this data on on the broker side so if i open my broker uh, you will be able to see i uh, let me resubscribe and i i i, I am subscribing over this topic once i subscribe so this will you will be able to see data uh, here after every 30 seconds so let's wait and see uh, is my wi-fi sending the data here or not uh, okay so if you see uh, this is the data sent from the Arduino. Uh, the value is 46 and humidity is 68 and similarly i also can see the temperature value is 46 and humidity value is 68 so this is uh, how we, you can test your and broker uh, is working or not via using this application so this is how you can test this uh, uh, implementation of amplitude protocol using this application now let's see uh, how this data looks like on on the python application so uh, i'm just opening my python code here so if i open uh, run this code and it will show me a, a gui interface okay okay so this uh, this is the gui interface i can see, uh, i have created from from the python code and uh, uh, here uh, you can select any of the broker so currently i am sending data over this broker so i will select this one and simply connect so if uh, broker is connected it if it is connected with the broker url it will turn green green and I can see my button turned green so it means that it is connected to the broker now I if I want to get the data from my ESP32 board simply I will have to subscribe to the topic uh, over I am publishing the data so I am uh, publishing the data to this topic uh, as I already shown you here if you see uh, go to above so I, this is the uh, topic uh, where I'm sub publishing and subscribing the data. So if I uh, go inside my Python application and subscribe this topic, so after 30 seconds, uh, I will be able to see the data coming from the ESP32 board. So let's see. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So on air, uh, we, uh, we got the data. Uh, uh, temperature is 31, humidity is 70. And uh, temperature at the moment, it, it is showing 31 and humidity 70. And uh, this is the past history of, of, of the data uh, uh, I'm recording on my application. And if the uh, next data will come again after 30 seconds here, so next entry yeah we can see the next entry again and now this time temperature is 39 and humidity is 65 and i can also see the graph is changing from uh, uh, 31 to uh, for the temperature it is changing from 31 to 60, uh, 39 and from humidity it is changing from 70 to 65 so similarly uh, if i if i get one more entry here so uh, yeah, 
after 30 sec second 30 sec second i get received another entry and now the temperature and humidity again changed i will share the link of the code in the description of the video so thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you like my video